Alabama is seeing an uptick in COVID-19, flu and RSV cases. Health officials are warning the so-called triple threat of the three illnesses could get much worse in the next few months. And while a high number of cases usually starts to circulate in the late fall, the U.S. has seen an early surge in pediatric RSV cases this year. That's put a lot of strain on a lot of hospitals. News 19's Archie Snowden says the doctors are sounding the alarm about what's being called a triple pandemic. That's right, Greg. The virus season is already off to an unexpectedly rough start. An elementary school and a sheriff's office in Morgan County had to be closed, and Lincoln County announced today that schools are closed. This is happening in the state of Alabama, and doctors are on a high alert. Flu and RSV cases, or respiratory syncytial virus, are spiking across the state. As doctors concerned about the presence of a triple threat of respiratory viruses, the flu, COVID-19, and RSV, pediatric hospitals across various states are reportedly at or near capacity. It's a little bit earlier than usual, and there seems to be a higher number of cases for this time of year, and that's worrisome. Doctors are now worried about the strain that these rising cases are putting on hospitals. Just this past September alone, hundreds of positive RSV cases in children were logged, and doctors expect that cases will triple before Thanksgiving. And we're anticipating uh, sort of an increase in the hospitalizations for influenza as well as RSV this season compared to the prior two years, and that's especially true for the Children's Hospital. But how long it's going to last, it's uh, only time will tell. RSV, much like the flu, presents symptoms of a cold, running nose, coughing and sneezing, and doctors are seeing a surge across the state, not similar to other fall seasons, and expect that we will see another increase in cases over the next few months. And they are urging everyone to be prepared for a wave of hospitals and doctor visits and the possibility of more closings. That when you look at the United States National Flu Surveillance Map from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, we are in a very hot zone right now. Georgia, Texas, a little bit higher numbers than us, but I think we're rapidly catching up. So there is variation nationally in the numbers of flu cases, um, but I think it's just a matter of time before other places catch up to us. Now, currently, there is no vaccine to treat RSV, but doctors are getting vaccinated with the flu shot. It makes a big difference in being very sick with multiple symptoms. Doctors report that COVID-19 hospitalizations are trending downward, but these threats still exist.